The Secret Garden is a universal story. It's been published all over the world. I fell in love with it. It's, I think it's one of those books that you're aware of whether you've read it or not. The great thing about The Secret Garden is it really does have this extraordinarily vivid story. It's not just a pretty world of a lost garden. The story is all told from Mary's point of view. When we meet her, her parents have gone and she's shipped off to her uncle who lives uh, in a big house called Mythoswaite. He doesn't want much to do with her. He's promised to have someone to tend to you soon enough. But until then, don't be expecting there'll be people to talk to, because they won't. She starts to explore it. And as she finds these friends in the house and as she finds a garden. Gradually from there, she begins to learn how to open her heart as she begins to blossom. <laughs> there you are. In the garden, she sort of tumbles through. So we like the idea that the moss would grow on her as she tumbles down. So the costumes sort of evolve as they go through scenes. It's about Mary learning to become a child within the garden. The mystery, first of all, and then it blossoming into something sort of wondrous and, and healing. And that feels quite universal to me. That character Mary and who she is was the thing that just drew me in. And the Secret Garden was a book I'd read as a kid. I then read the book again and was astonished by a very real portrait of a childhood and in Mary Lennox, a really quite modern character. But you have to try, just as I do. When you adapt a, a beloved book, it's most important to be true to the spirit of the book. I'm too old now to just do things for my career. So I, I did it because um, I loved the script and I felt it was true to my memory of the book. It feels more modern, even though, you know, it's a period piece. I think what's modern about the script is the way that children react to each other is very, very true in the book. And I think we've, we've absolutely stayed faithful to that. I think that's my most important job, is capturing what what the central soul of something is and, and trying to put that on screen. It's such a beautiful book. It's just a matter of doing it justice. It's an opportunity to really explore a world of enchantment and joy. The optimism of this story is explosive and I think that's one of the reasons why it's so enduring. It feels like a big challenge. I feel like we can deliver something that people haven't seen before.